Department of His Excellency Rigathi Kachagwa EGH, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya on 11 grounds. The upholding by the Senate of five impeachment charges out of those set out in the special motion therefore concludes the consideration of the process as provided in Article 145 of the Constitution. The House is accordingly informed. Honorable members, in furtherance to this, there is a message that is being prepared to be delivered in the next few minutes. Honorable members, the second communication is on the appointment of members to a mediation committee of the Division of Revenue Amendment Bill. Honorable members, as, as you are aware, on Wednesday, 16th October 2024, the House rejected the motion on consideration of the Senate amendments to the Division of Revenue Amendment Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 38 of 2024. This decision essentially committed the bill to a mediation committee in accordance with the provisions of Article 112 of the Constitution and Standing Order 149. Honorable Members, Article 113 of the Constitution requires that wherever a bill is referred to a mediation committee, the Speakers of the Houses of Parliament shall appoint an equal number of members from both houses to attempt to develop a version of the bill for consideration by Houses of Parliament. In this regard, Honorable Members, having consulted with the leader of the majority party and the leader of the minority party, I have appointed the following members to represent the National Assembly in the Mediation Committee on the Division of Revenue Amendment Bill 2024. One, Honorable Ndindi Nyoro, CBS MP, Honorable Mary Masa MP, the Honorable Dr. Johnny Chikati MP, the Honorable David Ocheng, CBS MP, the Honorable David Kiplagat MP, the Honorable Dr. Otienda Molo, Senior Council MP, the Honorable Fatuma Jeho MP, the Honorable Dr. Makali Mul MP, and the Honorable Dr. Ojambo Oundo MP. Honorable members, the aforementioned members will await the appointment of senators to the Mediation Committee for the committee to be fully constituted for purposes of commencing the mediation process. Once I receive a message from the Senate to that effect, I'll convey the same to the House. Thereafter, the Mediation Committee will embark on an attempt to develop a version of the bill for consideration by the Houses of Parliament in accordance with Article 113 of the Constitution. The House is accordingly guided. Thank you. Yes, uh, Honorable Pukose. Uh, Honorable Speaker, Article 149 of the Constitution provides that within 14 days after vacancy in the office of the Deputy President arises, the President shall nominate a person to fill the vacancy, and the National Assembly shall vote on the nomination within 60 days after receiving it. Honorable Speaker, Recently, in passing the special motion for impeachment of the Deputy President, you guided us that we required at least 233 of us being two-thirds two of the members of this House because, uh, to pass this motion. And you jumping the gun? No, I'm just seeking your guidance, Honorable Speaker, okay, whether we need the same threshold in this case. Okay, go on. So, Honorable Speaker, is the same voting threshold applicable in this case? I uh, seek your guidance following your you are communication still, from the Senate. You are still jumping the gun. Okay. We have a communication from the Senate which requires no comment. Okay. When I give the next message, that is when you will be able to seek that clarification. Thank you. You are guided. All your horses next. <laughs> but if you have no horse, hold your mule. <laughs> hold your mule. Order number three, messages. Order number four, 
petitions. Order number five, papers. Yes. Order number six, notices of motion. Order number seven, questions and statements. Yes, uh, Honorable Wamboka. Uh, Honorable Speaker, yesterday you, you guided that uh, today morning the Chairman of Education Committee was supposed to bring uh, a response with regard to opening of more university. Uh, kindly, I seek your indulgence, Honorable Chair, so that... Uh, Which chair? The Chair Meli. Yes. So, Honorable Speaker, I seek your indulgence so that... Uh, we can have that university opened. Thank you. Honorable members, there are two chairmen I directed to bring preliminary statements this morning. Honorable Meli on Moi University, and I think Russell, did I also direct you to bring something? Let's start with Meli. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I stand here to respond to your direction yesterday that uh, indeed Moi University is in a crisis and as I submitted the statement from Honorable uh, Omboka uh, on the issue of the university. However, Mr. Speaker, I received a, a response which is very inadequate and uh, it could not address the issues that Honorable Omboka and this House demanded from the Ministry of Education and more importantly from the, the peers, and therefore, Honorable Speaker, it would be good that I, I, I redirected again that all the salient issues that were raised in the, in the statement be addressed, because it was such a generality that it could not address those particular issues. So I decided not to read that particular statement, and I took it back to the Minister. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. Yeah. Is it on the same issue? Yes, I wanted to go ahead. Yes. Mr. Speaker, the issue of uh, more University is a, da is a very serious issue and especially destroying the lives of our professionals and our, our, our professors who have done a great job in going to school to be able to uh, teach our, stu uh, our, our children. Mr. Speaker, we want the ministry to take serious, uh, seriously this matter because taking it lightly and yet we are talking about the lives of people who are working there. They have lost their pensions, they have lost their, they don't have an increment of salaries and uh, they have been put on CRB. Almost all lecturers who took loans, the, the, the university is not paying. So we need that thing resolved as soon as possible, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Speaker. I rise knowing that Kases constituency is where more university is situated. And uh, as we seek the information through the Chair of Education, I wish to reiterate an issue that has not been talked about for quite some time that Moi University, being the only second university in the Republic of Kenya, has facilitated establishment of more than nine other universities, fully pledged universities. And in the process of establishing, most of the resources then that were earmarked for Moi University all were generated under ITU, especially during the parallel uh, self-sponsored program, were utilized to establish these universities. And no discussion since then have been brought forward to ensure that more university is compensated back to where it was before. And I want to raise this one that the committee, as they are looking at, they should also be able to tell us how much resources were channeled out or were see for now to establish the other universities and no discussion has been discussed to ensure that more university is reinstated back to where order, it was. Order, Meli, you are out of order. A university opening another campus elsewhere does not amount to siphoning money. It's expansion, and it's a program that grows education. How does that become siphoning money? Thank you. Maybe, okay, I, I, read, uh, I withdraw that statement. But yes. still, 
The point here, Mr. Speaker, is that the Committee on Education should be able to come up and inform this Honorable House what shall then be I done. I know for a fact yes. that Moi University produced Kakamek uh, Most University, that Most then produced Kibabi. That has nothing to do with siphoning money at all. Yes, Ocheng? Yes. Ocheng? The Honorable Speaker, the issue of more university is so disheartening, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that the university is closed and there's no urgency, there is no effort towards reopening it immediately, Mr. Speaker. It's a scandal. Mr. Speaker, as the ministry and as the committee concerned brings a proper statement to this House, Mr. Speaker, could they tell us the root cause? If it is symbolism, let us be told so that that is sorted out. If it is ethnicity, if it is bad management, let us be told that that is sorted out. If we, we will not run that university if you don't get to the root cause of the problem, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it's such a deep rot that any assuaging or any, any boil lancing will not help. Let's get to the root of the matter, Mr. Speaker. Let the committee dive into this matter and deal with it squarely. But as, uh, even uh, uh, when they are teaching, Mr. Speaker, could we get a date, a definite date, when the children, the students will go back to school, Mr. Speaker? Thank you. Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, to, uh, for allowing me to be able to speak on this point. The issue of more university is very simple.